okay, so today we're going to be making some meatballs, and I got some ground hamburger beef, and I'm also going to be putting in some pork, and we're going to mix those together. Okay, so um, I'm doing like a 50-50. You guys can do whatever you like. If you don't like the idea of pork or you don't do pork, uh, you know, you just leave that out. That's fine. Um, I use it because I feel like it makes meatballs a little bit more tender. However, we'll be putting it in a sauce, which I'll be telling you guys later, so, you know, they could probably become more tender in the sauce anyway, but I like it extra a little bit. So, anyway, without further ado, um, I'm going to sort of blend everything in the bowl together, and then I'm going to make the meatballs. So, this may not be... Um, This may, uh, this may be a little bit more So let me know. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be using the Progresso Plain Bread Crumbs because I used to use the Italian in the past, but I feel like it over, wait, it took over, um, that flavor sort of took over the meatballs. So, and I'm just guesstimating here <sighs> based on prior experience and how much they've done. Okay. If you want to put some milk in there, you can. I'm not going to, but, um, that would kind of help as well. Blending it all together. And you want to get it to a consistency where you can have a meatball that is going to not fall apart on you, you know? You can put um, herbs in here, whatever you like. Oregano, um, basil. Now these are almost there. Next, I'm going to just roll up the um, the meatballs, and then I'm going to put them in the, in the sauce and show you how we do that. salt and pepper in these, but you feel free to, um, because they're going in the sauce, I feel like the sauce is going to flavor that. Um, okay. Okay, we're gonna meet, we're gonna flip over the meatballs now. So which one is this under? Let me see. Alright, so you're gonna flip this over. This one. Okay, so it's got a nice um, color to it here. This one. Yeah, really. Okay. Let's see if I can get that thing to see. Okay. I'm gonna flip that one. Go, and then we got one over here. Flip that one. And then flip that one. Okay, there we go. Alright, and then we got a one over here. And then this one. Okay. Now I'm doing about five minutes on both sides, so after that we will put them in the sauce. Alright, so here's our pasta sauce, and we're just going to take our meatballs, so this is what they look like. Okay, and we're just going to drop them in, drop them in here, and they should flavor that sauce really nice. Normally I make my own pasta sauce, but this is just Rayo's um, caramelized onions. Um, I like Rayo's because they have very few ingredients and they tend to keep it simple, which I, I like about them. Okay, so you, you can do whatever you like, make your own, if you have a special kind that you buy in the store, that's absolutely fine. So here we go. And then we pop that in. Um, okay, so yeah, so, so that's what that's going to look like. I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to simmer them for 30 minutes. So we'll see what they look like when they're done. Okay, so this is my uh, meatball sandwich meatball hoagie 
and I have never made one of these before, so I don't, <laughs> I don't know exactly how this is going to go, but we're going to try to give this a little bite here, or a big bite, see how this tastes. All right, here we go. Mmm, that's good. That's good. That is good. Mmm. <laughs> Not bad for my first time. Okay. So, tastes pretty good. Give it a try.